Hi, we're Laura and Lewis. In August of 2020, we found ourselves cooped up at home like the rest of the world, wondering when we'd be able to camp and travel again, and itching for a big project to occupy our time. We took the opportunity to scoop up an old Sverner work truck and spent several months converting it into a tiny home on wheels. We built the camper to be completely off-grid so we can boondock in beautiful remote places and enjoy van lifing part-time. Since then, we've explored more of the beauty that's in our own backyard, and even had the chance to drive it across country a couple of times. Along the way, we made little improvements to our layout as we learned how to use the space more efficiently. When we're not on the road, we also rent out our camper to other van life enthusiasts. Come along with us on a typical camping day and we'll show you how we go about using our Sprinter. <laughs> our mornings start off slow as we soak in the calm of waking up without a blaring alarm. The first thing we do is peel off the window covers to let the morning light stream in. Then we turn on the ceiling lights and give each other a very natural morning high five. I mean, kiss. <laughs> Once we shimmy out of bed, Layla knows it's time for her to get up too. We keep a handful of magnetic hooks throughout the van, and Layla's harness and leash live right above the sliding door for easy access. And if you're wondering what we're wearing, it's a cozy sleeping bag onesie from Selk Bag. This isn't sponsored, we just love them and recommend them for anyone who enjoys staying warm. While Layla takes care of business outside, we fold up the blankets and pillows and tuck away the bed. To see how we built this convertible bed, check out our video linked in the description. In fact, we'll link to a playlist with all the videos on how we built most of this van. The bedding stores neatly in the cabinet above the bed, and since it's currently winter, we have extra blankets that we store in the overhead shelf above the cab. Camping has become an important part of our lives. Over the years, we've cultivated a camping style and routine unique to us, and we built our camper van to incorporate things we find most important. It has become a great time to unplug from the regular pandemonium of life and get reacquainted with the simpler pleasures. Living small and simply has shown us we don't need much to be truly happy. We keep an organizer pouch hanging behind the passenger seat for accessible storage for toiletries and miscellaneous items. When our water jugs need to be swapped or refilled, we simply go underneath the sink to access our two six gallon containers of fresh water and one six gallon for gray water. The fresh water jug has a quick release fitting to the pump, so swapping an empty one with a full one is pretty, well, quick. After washing up, we change into our clothes stored in the cabinet above the kitchenette 
and get ready for breakfast. Our stove and hot water heater both use propane, so we plumb the lines to merge to a single fitting by the sliding door. And we use one pound propane canisters to feed both appliances. It's admittedly a clumsy solution, but during the build we weren't ready to commit to carrying a large propane tank inside the van, so this was a temporary solution that's become relatively permanent. We like to have plenty of food and snacks for our camping adventures, so we have two deep drawers for dry and canned foods, and a spacious 53-quart fridge that tucks away on drawer slides. We try to prepare most of our meals in the van because it adds to the feeling of being at home. On colder days, the stove helps heat up the van so we can be a little cozier inside. Once our bellies are full, we spend the day enjoying hiking trails on our one wheels, stored conveniently by the back door for easy access. A little bit of exercise gets our digestive juices gurgling. Thankfully, we have a compost toilet in front of the sliding door where you can enjoy a view on the potty. And the roof fan helps to air out the van while Lewis proceeds to destroy the toilet. After a long trail, I like to relax by soaking my feet in warm water in our little tub. Our shower head connects to the water heater by the sliding door and can be used indoors or outdoors. This also converts into a handy shower by simply hanging up curtains. Now it's time to pack up and move on to our next campsite. But before any long drive, we make sure to check the charge on our Jackery solar generator. If the 200 watt panels on the roof aren't pulling enough watts, we plug the wall charger into the inverter so we could charge while we're driving. And while we're on the roof, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about our 52-inch double-row LED light bar from Oxbeam. 
It has double LED spot and flood beams integrated into the light bar, pushing out 30,000 lumens. In other words, it's super bright. It's activated by a switch inside the cab, and it's perfect for when we're driving through dark and desolate places. Plus, we think it looks really cool and completes the look of the van. Before we can completely relax, we have to squeeze in a little bit of work for our day jobs. One of us uses the lagoon swivel table to work as the other person swivels the passenger chair around to work from the other end of the van. It's a great setup so we're not disturbing each other by working too closely. And after a tough day's work, we grab our camping chairs which are tucked away under the bed and enjoy the sunset by the campfire. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with us. After building our first camper van, we can't imagine life without one. It's been an amazing adventure building this van together, and even more so, enjoying the fruits of our labor in new places. We learned so many new skills, not just with building and making, but also with communicating and working alongside each other. It's given us the opportunity to grow this YouTube channel, build a community, and share what we've learned. All of you who have watched, liked, commented, and subscribed gave us so much insight and motivation to keep creating, and we're so grateful to all of you. Thanks for watching.